morning guys so today we're back on our home our home pond here um, just fun fishing we're we're not really trying to do anything too crazy here we're just fun fishing testing out some rods that I got from my from my brother he custom wraps the rod for fun he doesn't actually do it for sale um, a couple glass specific blank rods that I wanted done I don't know what's going on yet um, the water's warm the flowers are budding already uh, the fish should be pushing up shallow um, they should be starting to get ready to go into the backs my guess is that the majority of the fish are still still out deeper but it's that time of the year where you can start burning water shallow well not burning water shallow but covering water shallow and you know try to get on a shallow pattern we're primarily an offshore guy so we'll probably we've covered a little bit of of shallow water it's not really high percentage stuff but we cover some shallow water to see if there's any any fish around we didn't catch anything yet probably spent about like an hour doing that maybe 30 minutes an hour doing that doesn't really seem to be anything shallow yet at least we haven't gotten on any kind of shallow bite yet so I know there's fish shallow guaranteed there's fish shallow it's just we haven't gotten on them yet so we'll probably end up live scoping around for a little bit I wanna the goal today really is to hopefully get on a, a bigger female you know as it's pre-spawn pre-spawn spawn time right now so we got the big bait you know we got a jig very very simple stuff uh, nothing crazy we didn't bring any worms realistically no worms uh, just gonna try to have fun today so it's all right if we don't catch a fish we're just out here having a good time so we'll see what happens uh, if you saw our previous video the, our uh, previous tournament you know we got on a pretty good sus suspended life life scope fish bite kind of deal so I got no confidence doing it so you know we picked up some picked up some Demiki rig stuff and yeah, I caught plenty of crappie doing it but crappie's kind of a yeah it's, it's its own game with crappie crappie are just they just go absolutely nuts for it so we're trying to figure things out here trying to get better trying to get better every day uh, we got a school crappie here I'm go ahead and make a cast onto them see if I can get one of them to go on this oversized lure Catching crappie is not the problem. I mean, he choked it. One more for fun. We're having a lot of fun catching these. One more for fun. Oh, here he comes. We had our fun. We gotta get to bass fishing. All right, that's enough for a crappie montage, right? <clears throat> Time to go look for bass.
first one on the new rod. Chuck that thing. Good old LV500. That might be like a six pounder. Uh oh, no. That might be bigger than six. That might be seven. Five pounds. Okay, pre-spawn. Let this crankbait fishing. If you've never done it, you really should. I mean, he just swiped at it, but still. Might go like five pounds, four or five pounds. And love a let this crankbait bite. What I'm doing here is just this is the back of a of a spawning bay here, and the fish are haven't pushed up yet, but they followed the creek channel all the way back here. Well, not creek channel, but just the channel back here, and it seems like they're getting ready to go because they're they're off in the middle here. And I love fishing a, a lipless crankbait. So, all I'm doing here is yo yoing it. I'm letting it have bottom, see, slack line. It's on bottom. And just ripping it up and holding it on a pendulum. And they're, they're bumping it like a jig. You feel a distinct, distinct thump. Which is a good sign. That means the spawn has, has started. There's another one. Oh, dropped it. I gotta fix my drag. it again. It's going to be a great day. I can feel it. It's going to be an absolutely great day. I don't know if we're going to catch a giant. I don't think we're going to catch a giant. I mean, water's, water's still cold, obviously. Obviously, there's still some females out deep, but I like getting on that first wave of that first wave of fish that move up, and we're essentially on them right now. That first wave of fish that's moved up. There's another one. Spawn fatties. That might be like a six or seven. See, this is why you want a really flexible rod. You got it by the back hook. Thank you. 
barely got it. That might be like four pounds. Here's another one. Fatties, all fatties. All pre-spawners. I mean, they're just swiping at it, but nonetheless, we're having a pretty epic day right now. There you go. Three, four pounder. Probably more on the three side. praying and praying today i mean we're essentially fishing a, a point back here well more like a flat back here but these fish aren't really set up in a certain spot they're kind of just cruising around cruising around this last deep deep hole basically so these fish are moved up they just haven't decided if they want to spawn yet or not so I can't complain. I mean, I got close to a 20 pound bag already. So I can't complain. Fishing the way I like to fish. Yo yoing a, a LV 500. Oh. Pretty sure there's more to be caught. got to figure out the right angle so there's one there was one interesting there we go there's a whole school of them that's a good one that's a really good one Choked it too. They want it. Oh, gosh. It's bleeding. I gotta get him try to get him back in as quick as possible. There it is. I don't know what number he is, but I'm gonna let him go. That's why I love fishing the lipless. Uh, I don't know we're somewhere if I had to guess we're probably in that that three to four pound average our biggest is probably a five and a half six ish is what it looks like but so far really liking the new rod it's basically a noodle which essentially that's what I wanted it's keeping these fish really pinned. Now that's why I, I specifically asked this one to be a glass rod. I mean, it's supposed to be a chatterbait rod. Because I feel like fishing fishing a chatterbait on a glass rod, you you land more fish. Even though a chatterbait's a jack, a, uh, a jig hook, I just feel like your landing ratio on a 
on a chatterbait on a glass rod is far superior than the fishing on a jig stick even though you got a jig hook but that's just personal preference there's not too many fish that are really willing to eat the way that they're they're choking this thing but it's still a reaction bite they're not really they're not really eating because I caught a couple on the outside of the lip so I imagine I imagine they're just reacting to it as it falls they're not really they're not really munching it munching it which is fine you know we landed all of them so I can't complain be a different story if we didn't land our fish and we lost all of them but I'm not complaining now I wonder if we change colors if we could get more bites it doesn't really seem like they want to something drag, dragged on the bottom is not what it seems like so I don't think we're going to drag anything on the bottom we're just going to try to get these fish to react but they probably will eat is a Carolina rig if I had to put money on it I'm pretty sure they would eat a Carolina rig they're probably tired of hearing this the rattles on this thing which this isn't this isn't a one knocker this is just a regular a regular uh, LV 500 they do make a DRS model as well which typically you know pre-spawn typically pre-spawn guys like to throw a one a one knocker specifically in a red because normally they're they're on crawdads coming out of the out of the winter normally but the reason why I'm throwing a shad pattern is just very simply because last year there was a great bloom of crappie so there's a a ton of crappie for these fish to, to feed on so I don't think it will really affect the fish's mood per se with the abundance of crappie I think they would much rather feed on crappie if there's if there's an abundance of crappie so that's why that is although typically you would be throwing a red they normally would be choking a red There ain't nothing wrong with with uh, not throwing a red, though. I mean, I don't have one in the box, but I think it's all personal confidence. First fish we lost on it.
Eight on the rip up. Every fish feels good on this glass rod. <laughs> So thick. So thick. You're in an earpiece, so sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're good. It's probably like a four. Yeah. So they're munching. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See ya. Just got off the phone with Dom. He heard me. For you, Dom. so I might as well change it. We're not catching any giants, but having a ball. Three to five pounders. Can you really complain catching three to five pounders? I can't. Just having a ball today. Good old spring fishing. Maybe like a three and a half pounder, right? 18, 18 and a quarter. First hog hunter fish. Well, first big swim bait fish ever. At 40. Not a giant, but I got one on the big swim bait. It's always been a goal of mine to get one on a big swim bait, so. Marks a milestone. Such a thick fish. Those epic days, guys.
good one.